Can you spot me? Can you spot Zach, this? you're messing up my video. Today we got a six by six. Can't remember how much it is, like 265 pounds. It's a lighter day. Just to get ready for my 10 by three. That is next week at like 85% of my one rep max. And this is like 65 to 70% of my one rep max. It's only 255. I was wrong. channel yet. It's the same steel roll that I used with the barbell in one of my previous videos, but this one is with dumbbells. I kind of like it better. I feel like I can get a better squeeze on both uh, sides of my lats instead of because the barbell, sometimes my right arm is a little bit stronger than my left. So this just ensures that I'm in the same contraction on both sides. Right, Zach? slow tempo so coming up it's a big squeeze at the top I like to feel like I'm using my back or working out my back that I pull with my elbows to ensure that I'm engaging my lats instead of pulling my wrists where it's gonna bring more of your bicep into it. Pro tip. So probably almost nine, ten months a day. Then yeah better than the So from back we fit uh, the seal row with my hands in a neutral grip. We fit um, a pull down with my hands in a neutral grip. So now I want to make sure I get two uh, two different movements in with a pronated grip. So I'm going to get another. Make sure to get in another row with my hands pronated and another pull down with my hands pronated as well. And that just ensures that you're hitting every uh, muscle group in your back. There's four ways to hit your back. There's neutral with your elbows coming in towards you on a row. There's pronated where your elbows are going out on a row. There is, and then the same for pull downs. There's neutral, elbows stay in coming down on a row. And then there is pronated, basically pronated I guess, with your hands up pulling down with your elbows coming down or out on a pull down as well. So that's just a little tip. If you want to hit every muscle in your back, make sure that you're hitting it from all of those angles. It's just a regular uh, bent over dumbbell row with both arms at the same time. So like I said earlier, a little bit of a different angle. I'll kind of be just bent over, not all the way so I'm parallel to the ground, but maybe like at a 45 degree angle to the ground. Just to switch up and hit a different angle like I was explaining earlier. So here we go. And like I said, pulling from your elbow. So you're gripping it with your hands, obviously. I like to put my thumbs over the top of the bar just to ensure that I'm pulling from my elbows to engage my back instead of getting bicep and forearms in with it when I'm trying to isolate my back. So here it is. I'm getting the full extension at the bottom so it's not a half rep all the way at the bottom lets my lats stretch as much as possible and then back up with a squeeze and a slow negative back down. These are just some boring bicep curls. I'm not going to try to explain them. 